What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another video. Throughout the next couple of weeks before launch of Diablo 4, we're going to be talking about the things that I'm most excited about for the game. Uh, today I wanted to talk about one of the features that I think is going to make this game one of the biggest releases of the past 10 years. And that, my friends, is class customization. Now, one of the things that's most important to me when getting into a game is really just feeling like I can create the character that I want. There's nothing that I hate more than coming into a game and they basically try to sell you on options as to what you can do with unlimited possibilities. And then you get your character and it's literally like two builds and then that's it and you're done. One thing I really, really, really love about D4 that I think they did incredibly well, uh, even better than any other Diablo in the series, is the ability to customize your own class. Now, let's talk about the layers of how this actually works. So first up and foremost, you have your character creation. Character creation, uh, for one of the first times in the Diablo franchise, you'll be able to create and design your own character. The only other time was Diablo Immortal, and that was kind of limited, uh, but they definitely ramped it up and kicked it up a notch with this one. You'll be able to, to design the exact character that you want. There's a ton of options, colors, styles, whatever you want, and it's actually pretty cool. And I think that this is the first step of immersion when getting into a game like this, because this is, allows you to feel like you're part of the environment. After you move from this point and you create your character, you'll have the choice of playing normal or hardcore. Normal is just normal, and hardcore is when you die, you're, you're dead. So it, it all counts for everything. Now, depending on your difficulty experience or the difficulty experience that you're looking for, you'll want to choose carefully. Not to mention on top of this, the difficulty levels are going to continue to increase and the AI actually gets harder the higher the difficulty you go, okay? Um, especially as you progress through the campaign. Now, as we get on top of that, you'll get into the game, you'll continue running around. If you guys have played a Diablo game before, you guys understand that as you level up, you'll be able to pick skills. However, the way that they did it this time is more in a tree format. And as you go through the tree, you'll be able to select skills and these skills will have default modifications that you'll be able to choose based on the way you want to play. Now, I hear you, you're like, D, that's pretty much every other game. What's so special about this? Well, with Diablo 4, they have a tendency to kick it up quite a few notches. Because now, if you guys have ever played a game like Path of Exiles, you guys understand that you guys can find gear in the world that has different modifications that change the way that your class plays. Okay? So, how this works essentially is, let's say you pick a skill, make an ice cream cone. Alright? Vanilla. You make this vanilla ice cream cone, and you're like, woo! Vanilla ice cream! Mmm! And then you find... Let's say the magic wand of whipped cream that now adds whipped cream to your ice cream cone. So now your ice cream cone has whipped cream on top, right? Even more flavor. Better, right? But basically, as you find equipment throughout the game, it'll essentially modify the way that your skills perform, giving you the opportunity to create your ultimate class. But that's only the first step. As we move past that phase of just selecting your basic skills and skill modifications and then finding gear to adjust and modify your skills to fit your playstyle, then each individual class also has a class specialization. Now, I don't want to spoil these for you because I know if you guys played in the recent betas, you guys didn't have access to a lot of the class specializations. But let me just say that there's a fair amount of lore that goes behind what these specializations mean for your character. And essentially, you'll be able to choose and design your character to fit your ultimate play style. So, for example, without going into too much detail, the rogue, for my rogue fans, have different schools of roguery that you can learn from and choose a specific craft that basically defines a part of your play style. So then if you combine that with, let's say, another special ability that the rogue has called imbuement, you can essentially change the elements of your attack. So whether you want to be a shadow rogue or a poison rogue or ice rogue, or you want to go stealth, or if you want to go melee, or if you want to focus on range, you want to throw knives, you want to shoot bows, whatever you want to do, or a mix of all of the above, you can then start to curtail and try to find the gear in the game that is going to mix and match it and fulfill your deepest fantasies when it comes to creating your character. Now, here's where things get even crazier, okay? So we talked about those basic concepts. Once you get to level 50, which is the soft level cap, you unlock this thing in the game called Paragon Boards. Now what these Paragon Boards is, as you guys can see here, what these Paragon Boards essentially do is they allow you to pick stats based on the type of build that you want. 
Now, with these stats, I didn't talk about this yet, but stats work differently for each type of character that you're playing. So if you're looking for a crit build, or if you're focused on transforming, let's say if you're playing a druid, then certain stats are going to be more important to you than others. And depending on how you play with those stats will determine how your character is going to perform over the longevity. Not to mention that in this board, there's also different modifications that also can change the way that your skills perform based on the type of character that you're creating. Once you get to the end of a board, you can then connect a new board with a specific direction or play style that will amplify or modify certain skills that you're looking to master or perfect with your particular play style. Taking that into consideration, you have 220 points to assign with a maximum level of 100 to create the ultimate build for your character. Now, I get so excited about this because there's nothing that I enjoy more than getting into the game and figuring out all the little intricacies of like, what makes a build work? Where's this build strong? Where's it weak? How can we make it better? What's a piece of gear that can make this build like the next best thing? And the joy of finding that and experiencing that has been brought to us in Diablo this time. Now, unfortunately in, in previous Diablos that I've played, there was a level of customization, don't get me wrong but it was nowhere near the extent of what it is for D4. And I just cannot wait until launch so I can get in there and actually make the character that I want. I'm so tired of just getting to level 20, especially after having the opportunity to play in previous betas where actually we were able to go further. Whew, man, you guys are in for a treat, okay? So I just wanted to talk about this. This is one of the features that I'm really, really excited about. Again, we're gonna break this down feature by feature by feature as we get closer to launch. We'll be doing a ton of videos talking about different things that you guys can do pr to prepare. I will most likely be playing hardcore because that's all I play usually. Um, so a lot of my experience from previous uh, D4 betas have all been, in har been a hardcore experience. So a lot of the lessons that I've gleaned from Diablo 4 will come in the form of that information. So with that being said, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am going to do my best to get you guys as excited as possible for this game. I know a lot of you guys are probably on the fence if you guys have played previous Diablo games before, just because you've had an impression of what you thought Diablo games are. So you probably maybe even wrote this one off, but I'm telling you, this is not the game you want to write off. It is crazy and it's about to be so much fun. So I love you guys. You guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.